Hi guys, welcome back to another product opening, and we got two more of the holiday mystery boxes. Walmart had them, and I just could not pass them up. Our last roll was kind of eh, in between good and bad a little bit, but let's hope these two are even better. We're going to start off with uh, 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 this one. Let's get our world famous box cutter right here. Ooh. Cut that wrapper. Cut that wrapper. There we go. See we got at first our structure deck is another zombie horde. Nice. I will gladly take it out. Oh, here we go. We got some. Oh, we got one that's uh first we have hidden summoners. Breaker of Shadows. Code of the Duelist. Breaker of Shadows. Extreme Force. This again. This one has more variety than the other one, and I like that. Now let's open our second box and see what all we got. And our structure, okay, this one is a third zombie. Alright, we'll take it. We'll take three zombies. We'll take three zombies, why not? Alright, we got another Fist of Gadgets and Wrapper. There are hidden summoners, a code of duelists, extreme force, and two breakers. These two are exactly the same. Ah, that is kind of lame. But it is a mystery box, so you kind of get what you get, which is a mystery to an extent. But guys, y'all could have uh, made a bit more of a diverse mystery right there, just saying. That's alright. We got plenty of packs here. So let's start off with the worst of the worst, which is the Fist of Gadget. Which has some good cards in it, some with good artwork, but that's about it. Nothing really too crazy. Let's see. Brotherhood Car Carnell. Some terror final battle. Brutal Corporal. Robert Stake and Archfiend's Ascent. Ascent. Looks cool. Some of the skull got a whole bunch of new forms in these packs. But no one uses them as far as I know. But still, kind of cool to see old cards get a bit of a new look to them. We need some new Gravekeeper cards too. That's what we need. Amorphic Goliath. But just made of the Draconic. Let's see. Yeah, that guy. And... Ooh, Archfiend and Manifestation. Okay, so we got two Summon Skull cards, which is cool. Now let's, uh, you know, let's move all these guys on here. Move on to the Hidden Summoner Packs. What we got in here? Prank Kids Pranks. Thunder Dragon, hell yeah. Preparation of Rites, Prank Kids Lampus, and ooh, Yuko the Ice Makish. I can't say that right. Some of those packs were poopy, but yet I am pulling Prank Kid cards. Which is something everybody's wanting. Refusion. Fullness of the con Contract. Ritual for Gone. Fusion Recycle Event, and Nymphus, a Sacred. Server. Sweet. Alright. Let's see, should we do this? <laughs> Excuse me. You know, let's do Cola Duelist. Can we pull the Firewall Dragon? First edition Unurotted Firewall. Launcher Commander. Pulse Mind. FW Sonic Meister. World Legacy. And the World Channel Priest. Nope. No firewall, but that's okay. Next pack. If I can open it, that would be nice. Thank you. Zombina. Pendred. 
Ooh, Jay the Twilight Sworn General. Cookie Scorpion. And Ooh, Spell Book of Knowledge. Just ultra rare. Nice. F A Downforce. Back in by the World Chalice. Supreme Rage and Re. So cool, we end up getting a ultra rare at least. Let's try this pack. Extreme Force. Tango Intruder. Tango Hound. Wait, Kitten Puppeteer. Uh, so Rocket Dragon and S Supreme Meltron. Artwork looks pretty sick. <coughs> Excuse me. Hero Circuit. Base Gardener. And Tegel Acute Sybaris. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are kicking my ass and I got some terrible hacks. Oh, Alright. Let me pull something cool from you. Tangles look awesome though. Mecha Knight Orange Sunset. Tangle Angel. Column Switch. Mecha Knight Yellow Star. They're giving me only one. And super rare. Nice. Pretty good trap card right there. FA Auto Navigator. World Legacy World Shield. Pink Belt Wall Dragon and Ghost Trick Revelation. That was cool. We pulled one heck of a trap. I like that. Now for Breaker of Shadows. If I remember right, the home of my Dino Discards. Alright. Twilight Ninja. Despot 07. Super Heavy Samurai. Oh, Buster Dragon. Another ultra rare. Let's go. Goya Defender. Kyle Destruction Swordsman. Despot 08. Before File Trump Girl. And High Speed Relevel. So we pulled two ultra rares so far. That's nice. And one really good super rare. And it's packed in my uh, terrible thing. There we go. Let's see. Twilight Ninja again. Perform Pal Hurricane. Perform Pal Monkey. Tonight and ooh, Dino Miss Rex. Hell yeah. Oh, we got the Kaiju. We got Mothra, guys. Sweet. Despot 08. Perform Pal Trump Girl. Let's be re level. Oh, good to pull the wind Kaiju. Alright, Perform Power Raincoat, Dino Mist Tigosaurus, Super Heavy Samurai Magnet, Engraver of Mark, Ooh, Cosmic Soar Troopers, and Tomb Buster Blader, Zany Zebra, Twilight Ninja, Cosmos Delta. Last pack. Come on, guys, give me your energy. Give me your energy. Let's go. Let's go. Four Pal Hurricane, Dino Miss Brokeon, Dragon's Bit Bind. Oh, Majestic Supercell. That looks cool. I like that artwork. And the final card, a Dino Miss Terran, Terranadana, Zany Zebra, Twilight Ninja, Cosmo Delta Shuttle, and Saruki, Saruk, Saruki, oh, Sarai. Yeah, nah. Anyways, guys, um, that's it for the video. That was kind of awesome and a bit of a bummer. I mean, don't get me wrong. That is a $60 structure deck right there I pulled out of both of those boxes. So, I really can't complain about that. But I do wish I got something a little bit different. Wish I had a bit of a different variety in packs. But, it is what it is. It's a mystery box. That's the whole thing about it. It's mystery. You don't know what you're going to get in each box. But um, it was still fun. I still enjoyed it. And I hope you guys did too. 
If you did, uh, leave, leave a like and a comment and let me know your, your thoughts on mystery boxes. Do you like them? Do you think they're a scam? What do you think? Before we go, zombies!